Praise God, hallelujah. Praise God, praise God, praise God. Praise the living Jesus, hallelujah. Glory and honor, adoration be to the name of our Father in heaven. Hallelujah, be, glory be to God. Good evening once again. Good evening, good evening to you all. Good evening to everybody out there. Good evening. May the good Lord Almighty bless you all and shine his face upon you all in the name of Jesus. Hallelujah. Like you all know, my name is Pastor Mrs. Yuri Sage of Jesus Power Assembly of All Nations. Hallelujah. I'm here today again to tell you the mind of God. I'm here today again to tell you God's mind. Amen. And his purpose for your life, especially his mind. What he asked me to tell you today. Hallelujah. Glory be to God. You all know our weekly activities every Wednesday, Fridays, every first Sunday uh, of, the, of, the, of the month, our Holy Communion and Thanksgiving Sunday, every last uh, every first Friday of the month is our general all night. And of course, every Wednesday is our Bible studies. Come and join us to study God's word where we go deeper and deeper into the word of God. Hallelujah. And of course, every, um, every uh, Friday is our healing and deliverance services. Hallelujah to Jesus Christ. Come and hear God's word and come and be delivered from anything or power that's confronting you. Hallelujah to Jesus Christ of Nazareth. Glory be to God. Hallelujah. So today I have good news for you all. I have good news for all of you. Everyone that will be viewing me today, I have good news for you. The Lord sent me to you specifically, specially. He gave me a message to give to you. Hallelujah. The Lord said, I should tell you it is a new beginning in your life. The Lord said, I should tell you it is a new beginning in your life. Hallelujah. I received series of messages during my fasting and prayer. The whole week, I have been fasting and praying the whole week. Amen. I've been fasting and praying the whole week, beginning from last week, Sunday to today. Amen. It's not a general fast. It's not the whole church fasting. It's just a personal fast. Hallelujah. Glory be to God. Glory be to God. That is a personal fast. Amen. Talking to God about people's situation. Talking to God about uh, people. Uh, 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 yes, situation. And the Lord said, daughter, he gave me a series of messages. Amen. But I'm going to begin from this one. He said, I should come and tell everyone that will be viewing me today that it's a new beginning for you. The Lord said, I should tell you it's a new beginning for you. Amen. I don't need to know you before I pray for you. And you don't need to know me before you believe me. Amen. I'll be praying for every believer because what is going on now? You know, it's, it's mind-blowing what is going on. You know, Satan is doing everything he could to take Christians off track, to, 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 to lie to them, to take them off, to take them uh, away from God. Satan is lying to people today, you know, to do all kinds of things, to kill their ambition, to kill their destiny, and to discourage them. Amen. So I know it. Hallelujah. I've been praying and the Lord sent me to tell you that it's a new beginning for you. It's a new beginning for you. Hallelujah. It's a new beginning. Now let's go to the word. Let's go to the word of God. The word of God in Genesis chapter 1 from verses 1 to 3. In the beginning God created the heaven and the earth. And the earth was without form and void. And darkness was upon the face of the deep. And the spirit of God moved upon the face of the waters. And God said, let there be light and there was light. God said, let there be light and there was light. Hallelujah. The Bible says in the beginning, God created the heavens and the earth. Your life belongs to God. God created you. He's your father. He's your heavenly father. Hallelujah. So I don't know what is void in your life. I don't know what is missing in your life. I don't know doctor's report concerning your life. I don't know concerning your head or concerning anything that concerns you. I don't know where you are in life right now. I don't know what has been dead in your life. I don't know the darkness. Amen. It might be the fruit of the womb. It might be to have the right husband or the right wife. It might be to have a better job or to have a job, something doing. Or it might be to have a business or it might be to have a better life physically, financially, spiritually. It might be something, 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 something. Hallelujah. The Bible says in the beginning God created the heaven and the earth. And the earth was without form and void. It might look like right now in your life nothing is working. It might look like right now in your life your life is just void. It's empty. There is nothing. The Lord said I should come and tell you that it's a new beginning in your life. The Lord said I should come and tell you that he's doing it, that something. He's doing something new in your life. He's doing, you know, 
it is building up something in your life that is a new beginning for you. It's a new beginning for you. It was a specific word I heard from him during my fasting and prayer during this week. Hallelujah. During this week, during my fasting and prayer, he said, I should tell you it is a new beginning for you. And he said, daughter, go and tell them that every darkness in their life, he himself, God, is releasing light into every darkness in your life. Maybe your destiny, you have, you have been thinking things are not going to work out again. That is giving you discouragement. It's making you to think that God is not answering you or God has forgotten you. God can never forget you. Hallelujah. God can never forget you. God can never forget you. Your name, everything about you is written in his palm. Hallelujah. He's looking at his palm every day and he's remembering you. And that is why he sent me to tell you that it's a new beginning in your life. I didn't just receive this message because I was praying to receive message. No. I was just praying for the saints. I was praying for believers. Because what Satan is doing right now is mind blowing. What Satan is doing right now, the first thing that he's doing to Christian right now is discouraging them, making them to think that God is not answering them. The the second thing is doing to them right now after discourage them he take them off 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 of god after doing that they now begin to misdirect their life hallelujah i see that with my eyes every day and i'm praying i see it in the realm of the spirit what satan is doing to believers amen so i went into fasting praying and i begin to pray the whole week i'll be praying and fasting and the lord said daughter go and tell them it is a new beginning anything that has been dead in your life anything that has not been working in your life whatever it is you have been believing God for in your life so long as you make God your potter so long as you make God your everything he said I should tell you that there will be light in your life from today oh people of God you better say amen to that and begin to claim me to yourself because it was a word received during a, a, a spiritual warfare time hallelujah so it, 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 it is so powerful the word of God cannot fail and the word of God cannot return unto him void hallelujah the word of God cannot return to him void or empty glory be to God almighty so right now I want you to begin to prepare yourself to receive from God from this moment because the doors are open for you the doors of opportunities are open for you the doors of breakthroughs are open for you in the name of Jesus Christ of Nazareth begin to walk into uh, uh, the glory of God in your life. Begin to walk into your God giving destiny. Let there be light in your situation. Let there be light in every darkness in your life. I say receive the light of God in the name of Jesus. The key that God gave to me, I use it to open every door that has been closed against you. Doors of opportunities open in the name of Jesus. Doors of barrenness is open in the name of Jesus. Receive your fruitfulness in the mighty name of Jesus. Everyone that is barren, they call you barren, but God is calling you fruitful to Day. He said, Go into the world, multiply, be fruitful. None shall be barren in the last, so said the Lord. In the name of Jesus Christ, it doesn't matter where you are in life, it doesn't matter the valley you are in life. The Lord sent me to tell you that every darkness in your life is receiving light right now. Your body is responding to the light of Jesus Christ right now. God Almighty, the Spirit is revitalizing your mortal body for a supernatural breakthrough. No more breaking down in the name of Jesus Christ. Ah, Genesis chapter 1 verses 1 to 3. He said in the beginning God created the heaven and the earth. And the earth was without form and void. And the Spirit of God was moving all over the earth. And the God said, let there be light. It means that in the beginning nothing was, nothing was on the earth. The earth was shapeless. Hallelujah. The earth was shapeless. It was not beautiful. Amen. If you look at the earth at that time, you will say nothing good is going to come out of it. But the Bible said, God spoke, let there be light and there was light. It's the same thing right now. I don't know where you are in life. It looks like nothing is working for you. You are about to give up. You are just thinking, oh, I don't even like to go to church anymore. You are about thinking, oh, what, 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 what is it after all? I was told that when you study the Bible, when you give your life to Christ, everything will be okay. It is true. It is true. Hallelujah. It is true. It is true. You cannot serve God and be put to shame. Delay is not denial. That is why, because of those that are impatient, that is why God sent me to you to come and tell you that He's releasing light into every situation in your life. Light. Let there be light in your life. Let there be light in your home. Let there be light in your finance. Let there be light in your working place. Let there be light in your destiny. Let there be light in your getting married to the right person in life. In the mighty name of Jesus Christ of Nazareth. In the name of Jesus Christ of Nazareth. Now let's go to the book of Jeremiah chapter 18. Let's go to the book of Jeremiah. Hallelujah. Jeremiah chapter 18 from verses 1 to 6. Jeremiah 18. 
verses 1 to 6. I read in Jesus' mighty name, Jeremiah 86, 1 to 6. The word which came to Jeremiah from the Lord, saying, Arise, go down to the potter's house, and there I will cause thee to hear my word. Then I went down to the potter's house, and behold, he wrote a work on the wheels, and the vessel that he made of clay was melted in the hand of the potter. So he made it again, another vessel, as seemed good to the potter to, the potter to make it. Verse 5. Then the word of the Lord came to me, saying, O house of Israel, O house of Israel, cannot I, cannot I do with you? As this potter said the Lord, Behold, as the clay is in the potter's hand, as the clay is in the potter's hand, so, so are you in my hand, O house of Israel. As the clay is in the hand of the potter, so are you in the hand of God. Amen. As the clay is in the hand of the potter, so are you in the hand of God. Amen. God said that he is going to make everything wonderful for you in your life. But give yourself to him. He said, as the clay, verse 6. Behold, as the clay is in the potter's hand, so are you in my hand. Allow God to be your potter. As the clay is in the potter's hand, so are you in the hand of God. Allow God to rule your life completely. Allow God, give God every fiber and system of your being. Everything that concerns you, give it to him. Give your household to him. Give your family to him. When I mean your family, give your husband. Give your wife to God. Give your husband to God. Give your children to God. Give your job to God. Give your ministry to God. Give everything that concerns you to God. Give your destiny to God. Give the lives of your children to God. Everything that concerns you, give it to God. Hallelujah. Give him everything that concerns you, not a part of it. Let Make sure all your children are in the hand of God. Make sure your husband or your wife is in the hand of God. Make sure your home is in the hand of God. Hallelujah. He said as the clay is in the hand of the potter, so also your life will be in his hand. Allow your life to be in the hand of God. Allow your destiny to be in the hand of God. Allow him to be the one that is, that is, that is molding your life. When you allow God to mold your life, He will mold it wonderfully. That is why He said He's making a new beginning. The Bible says in the beginning, the earth was without form and void. So God remade it again. Allow God to remake your life again. Allow Him to remake it again. Je Je Jeremiah chapter 18, verse 6. He said, as the, pot, as, as the clay is in the hand of the potter, so also your life is in His hand. So allow Him to, 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 to move you. Allow Him to make you, hallelujah allow him to make you how I wish somebody would see what I saw during my time of fasting and prayer it has been so awesome, hallelujah being in the presence of God is the most wonderful thing one can ever experience I don't know about you when you set days aside to pray and to fast and to seek his face God will not fail you, amen God will not fail you, he will not disappoint you God will reveal deep and secret things to you that ordinarily you will never know, hallelujah Glory be to God. That's why we'll be praying for everyone today. Because God has truly, truly, truly heard the prayer of, of, of many Christians. Amen. But they don't know it right now. That's why I'm coming out through the media to let you know it. If you are a Christian, God sent me to tell you that it is a new beginning. Amen. He's releasing light into your home. He's releasing light into your family. He's releasing light into your job. He's releasing light into your business. He's releasing light into your body. He's releasing light into everything that you need to know. Hallelujah. Glory be to God. God is faithful and wonderful. Hallelujah. Glory, 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 glory. I'm shouting glory because it's so exciting. Today make my seventh day of fasting and prayer. I'm so excited. I'm so happy. I'm just bubbling in the Lord because God is wonderful. God is faithful. Hallelujah. Allow him to be the one that is leading your life. You will not go astray in life. He said he will make a new beginning for you. God is making a new beginning in your life today. Hallelujah. Let me pray for all of you. Before I pray for all of you, there are a lot of you that have been calling me the whole week. You called me from outside the country. You are calling me. But I didn't pick your call. Hallelujah. Some of you, I text you and I told you I can't pick any call right now. I told you through text that I can't pick any call right now. Hallelujah. Because I'm in my prayer period. My prayer time. Amen. Hallelujah. 
Glory be to God. I'll just pick a few calls within this time. A few calls from my members in the church. Amen. Hallelujah. The whole week from Sunday to night, I never pick anybody's call. International call, I never pick. I didn't pick. Amen. Hallelujah. Only within the people in the church, very few people, maybe two or three persons that I picked their call. The rest of people as well, I didn't pick. Amen. I only see them in the church Wednesday and Friday and of course today. I saw everyone. Hallelujah. Glory be to God Almighty. Hallelujah. That is why I'm telling you that as I'm releasing the word of God into your home, please receive it and let no devil, let no Satan, let nothing, things that discourage people or light of people, let them not take it out of you. Let them not swap it out of you. Hallelujah. Glory be to God Almighty. Glory, 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 glory. Let God be. Let God be your porter. Let God be your porter. Let him, let him remove your life. Let him remove your life and direct your life. Hallelujah. Let him begin to remove your life and direct your life. You can see how happy and energized I am right now. I am just too happy. I'm just too, I'm just too, ah, I'm too full of his glory right now. I'm too full of God's glory right now. I'm the most happiest person on earth. I don't know about you. Glory be to God. I'm the most excited person today. Hallelujah. Hallelujah. One of the things that God sent me next week, I'll be giving you the other one. Hallelujah. God is so wonderful. It is a new beginning in your life. It is a new beginning in your life. God is remaking everything. Where the enemy thought that you have failed. Where Satan thought that you will not amount to anything. God sent me to tell you that it is a new beginning. Hallelujah. Hallelujah. The brothers of Joseph, they thought that Joseph is not going to make it again. They thought that Joseph is not a write-off. And Joseph himself, he knew what God is up to. He knew that God is up to something in his life. Hallelujah. Many Christians, they don't know because of what they are passing through. They cannot have the faith like Joseph. Amen. That is why God sent me to come and tell you. To come and tell you. Amen. That it is a new beginning. What the enemy meant for harm, God Almighty said, I should tell you, he's turning it for your good. What Satan meant for harm, he said, I should tell you, he's meeting it for your good. What the family members, they meant for you for harm. God said, I should tell you that he's turning it for your good. Hallelujah. Hallelujah. There is no failure in you at all from now. It is a new beginning. Ha! Ah, it is a new beginning. In the beginning, God created the heaven and the earth just as God created you. And the earth was without form and void. Just as many of you right now, you are walking in emptiness. Nothing is working in your life. Nothing, nothing, nothing is working. And you think that it's not going to work again. Hallelujah! The lion of the tribe of Judah has sent me to you to tell you that everything in your life is rising again in the name of Jesus. That is why he said in Jeremiah chapter 18 verse 1, he said, Rise! Hallelujah. Rise from the ashes. Rise from that failure. Rise up from that poverty. Rise up from that barrenness. Rise up for the light of God has risen upon you in the name of Jesus. Receive the light of Jehovah. Receive the light of the King of Kings in your life. Now, in the mighty name of Jesus Christ of Nazareth. In the name of Jesus Christ of Nazareth. Hallelujah. Glory, 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 glory. Glory be to God. Glory be to God. Glory be to God. Glory, 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 glory. Hallelujah. 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 Glory, glory, glory. Glory, glory, glory. I can never stop shouting glory. It is amazing. It is amazing. I cannot stop shouting glory. I cannot stop shouting glory. Yes. I cannot stop shouting glory. Somebody may not understand. His glory is just around. Even as you are watching, you are listening to me, you can feel God's glory. You can feel His glory. Hallelujah. You can feel His glory. You can feel His mightiness in your life right now. You can feel it. You can feel it. Because right as I'm talking to you right now, in the office, I feel His glory. I feel His mighty presence. Amen. I feel it too much. It's, it's like... I, I don't know how I can explain it to you. Amen. His glory is just around. So as you are watching by faith, receiving this prophetic word by faith, you are moving to the next level. Remember, I'm not giving you my word. It's the word of God. He sent me to you. He sent me to you. Hallelujah. The Lord sent me to you during this week of my seeking his face. Hallelujah. The Lord has healed your land. The Lord has opened doors that no one can close for you. Hallelujah. 
the Lord is restoring you right now. All the things that the enemy has stolen from you, the God Almighty is restoring them back to you. It is a new beginning for you. It is a new beginning. It is a new beginning in the name of Jesus Christ of Nazareth. It is a new beginning. Get ready. Get ready and let God be glorified in your life. Get ready and let Jehovah God be glorified in your life. Get ready and let the King of, of Kings be glorified in your life. Hallelujah. 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 Glory be to God Almighty. You are blessed. I say you are blessed. This week, your going out is blessed. Your coming in is blessed. Everything you lay your hands to do this week is blessed. In the name of Jesus. Your name shall be called blessed. Everyone around you shall call you blessed. In the name of Jesus. Remember, these words are not ordinary. I just finished fasting and prayer. Seven days fasting and prayer. Since on Sunday till now. Hallelujah. Fasting and praying. Amen. So these words that I'm releasing to you, they are for you. So get ready and they will do exploit for you this week. Amen. Hallelujah. Let us hear your testimony. Send us text send us as you listen because there are more than 50 people right now that are receiving their own as i'm talking right now right now the moment you tune to today our, our message as you are just listening you finish you replay it again to watch your telephone my ring or your email somebody can text you or they call you on your phone your miracle is just at your door. I saw it with my eye. Hallelujah. I saw it. Remember, the spiritual controls the physical. The spiritual control, when you don't see things in the spirit, it can manifest in the physical. Everything that takes place in the physical, first of all, happens in the spirit. So the Lord has shown me 50 people, 50 people right now, as you watch, as you just listen to this message, it is the new beginning new beginning in your life as you don't listen to it to listen to it again listen to it again before you finish the second one it's either your phone will ring or your sms they will send you sms or you go to your email you check your email or your mail boss good news is awaiting you in the name of jesus god cannot lie it is a new beginning for you it is a new beginning for your destiny it is a new beginning for your for your life. It is a new beginning for your home. It is a new beginning for your parents. It is a new beginning for your brothers and sisters. It's a new beginning for your children. In the mighty name of Jesus Christ of Nazareth. God bless you all. God bless you all. You are all blessed and highly favored by God. Hallelujah. May the Almighty God shine His face upon you all. May God Almighty uh, lift you from where you are right now to where you ought to be in life. God bless you. God bless you. Once again, my name is Pastor Mrs. Unisage of Jesus Power Assembly of All Nations. Hallelujah. Come and fellowship with us in this, in this church. God is doing wonders in this church. It's a deliverance ministry. Hallelujah. Come and, and, and fellowship with us and see the mighty hand of God. Hallelujah. In this place, God does not waste time in changing lives. God does not waste time in changing destinies. Hallelujah. As you step your feet into this auditorium into this into this a uh, 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 place to worship to worship the only one and true jehovah as you step your feet into this place to worship there will be a great transformation in your life you just try and see hallelujah you just try and see and you will see god in action you will see god doing what he has promised to do in your life you will see god doing amazing things in your destiny you will see god changing your life around within the twinkle of an eye hallelujah to jesus christ may the almighty god bless you all and may god disconnect you from people that are going back in life hallelujah may god almighty disconnect you there are a lot of people there are a lot of people that are jealous and envy of you may god almighty open your eye to know these people and disconnect you from them hallelujah and may you also respond to the leading of the holy spirit when it's leading you to disconnect you from them there are a lot of people they are not meant to be in your life that you don't know they are not meant to be in your life they have been sucking you they have been stagnating you they have been making you not to receive your miracle but you don't know but they appear to you as friends they appear to you as good people 
what do you think about Satan? The Bible says Satan appears as angel of light. Satan appears as angel of light. There are some people that need to live your life even without quarreling, without anything. Hallelujah. Hallelujah. Light cannot struggle with darkness or darkness cannot struggle with light. When light comes, every darkness will go. When you are light, there is no darkness that can stay in your life. When you are carrying light, no darkness that can stay in your life. Anyone that is operating on that darkness power or anyone that is carrying darkness, when it comes to you, he's going to say to you that I can't, I can't be with you again. It's not that you wrong the person or the person wrong. No, it's just about the light you are carrying. Because it is written, light and darkness can stay. Night and day cannot, cannot meet together. The moment day is coming, night is going. The moment night is coming, day is also is going. That is how it is. Light and darkness, they are two parallel lines. They can never meet. Parallel lines that goes like that forever. They can't meet. It's not possible. Hallelujah. So may God Almighty disconnect you from everyone that is going back in life. May God disconnect you from people that are going down. May God disconnect you from people that are in darkness. May God disconnect you from people that are confused in life. May God disconnect you from people that are losers. May God disconnect you from people that are not, that, that, that are not ready for anything. And they want you to also be like them. May the Almighty God disconnect you from them today. In the name of Jesus Christ. May you begin to see the light of day from today. You that is watching me right now. May you begin to see the light of day. May the power of God in heaven begin to locate you and make you to move forward in the name of Jesus Christ. From today, no more backwardness. From today, no more backwardness for you. Your name shall be called fruitfulness. Your name shall be called breakthroughs. Your name shall be called victorious. Your name shall be called prosperity. Your name shall be called blessed hallelujah hallelujah and anyone that will make attempt to touch you from today will die by fire i add holy ghost fire to your name i add holy ghost fire to your name you that is watching me you that is watching me right now i add holy ghost fire to your name for example your name is called kate i say you are now kate holy ghost fire kate holy ghost fire Hallelujah. Kate, Holy Ghost fire. Whatever your name is, I have Holy Ghost fire. Anyone that call your name from today, any evil pastor, any evil power, any power, any pastor that has been operating under the influence of satanic manipulative spirit that call your name, Holy Ghost fire will consume them from head to toe in the mighty name of Jesus. May the almighty God in heaven open your spiritual eyes to see the good and the evil. So that you'll be able to flee from evil and cleave to good in the name of Jesus. From today, by the anointing of God that is upon my husband, that, was, that is also upon me today in the name of Jesus Christ. We use it to liberate you completely from any evil pursuer. In the dream, in the physical, in the mighty name of Jesus. Those pursuing you in your dream, I said they will pursue you into your God-given destiny. They make evil for you. I decree today and I declare that God Almighty is turning it for your good. In the name of Jesus Christ of Nazareth, everyone that have lied to you to manipulate you, to manipulate and take from you today, let the power of restoration hit you good for restore. To be restored back in the name of Jesus. Take back everything you have lost in the past. Take it back. I say take it back in the name of Jesus. Everything you have lost in the past. Begin to take it back. In the mighty name of Jesus Christ of Nazareth. In the name of Jesus Christ of Nazareth. Let the power of the almighty God. Begin to. Begin to liberate you. Let the power of God almighty begin to. Begin to show you the way. Let the power of God almighty begin to. Uh, direct you to the right path in the name of jesus christ of nazareth hallelujah 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 glory and honor adoration be to god hallelujah god bless you all god bless you all god bless you all until we'll see you again next week shalom